Today I'm going to show you how to install the Voxel Bento Box in your printer. Hey, it's Brian from First Layer First, and today we're going to talk about the Voxel Bento Box. And no, we're not talking about a Japanese lunch. The Bento Box is a carbon and HEPA filter that you put inside your 3D printer to help filter out the air. Um, it's 3D printed. Um, I actually bought the kit from Voxel. And all you have to do is install the fans inside with some screws. Um, I saved you the agony of having to watch me try to do that with my bad hands. I have the dexterity of an elephant and it's really difficult sometimes to get screws in. So I already did that ahead of time. So basically it has this base that you mount in the corner of your printer. Um, then it has uh, some magnets in here that clip the sections together. This is where the carbon goes and the carbon is replaceable. And then it has the HEPA filter, which you put on the top. In addition to the bento box, we're also going to be installing this HEPA filter that Voxel makes that replaces the standard filter in your bamboo printer. The only maintenance you need for your bento box is to replace the filter every once in a while, as well as the carbon. Uh, you could buy the filters from Voxel. I'm sure you can get similar ones probably on Amazon. And the same thing with the activated carbon. Okay, so now we're at our printer and we're going to go ahead and install this bento box. Um, you see there's a little uh, L over there and the, uh, this on the bottom of it has a groove for it where it sits in. Um, so we are going to go ahead and put this over there until it uh, snaps into that grid. There we go. Let's move this uh, wire to the back to make sure we can get it there at the end. And then we have this little tiny screw Again, that I'm gonna have loads of fun with my elephant dexterity to try to get it in there. But let's see how we do. Okay, oh, let me try putting the screw in there first. I probably, actually, let me go and get a, uh, a pliers, uh, cause that'll work uh, much easier than me trying to struggle with it. Okay. I am back and I got the pliers out of my tool uh, caddy or tool organizer that you could see in the other video, uh, how I actually uh, designed and built it. Um, so if you want to uh, your own tool caddy, um, you can go ahead and print one. So let's see if I can grab this, whoops. <laughs> All right, you've seen enough of this. I'm going to uh, turn off the camera and try to do it off camera, and then we'll come back and uh, show you the rest. One eternity later. Okay, so I got it finally attached uh, and screwed in, and then uh, off camera, I also went ahead and uh, wire, uh, pushed it through the little hole, that, hole there. Um, so now we're all set. We have to uh, screw the ends of the wire uh, into this little adapter here that plugs into our power supply. So if we look on the side here, uh, there's the wires that are coming through. Um, and again, to spare you the uh, uh, agony of watching me try to do it, I will go ahead and uh, hook up uh, the uh, wires and then come back in a moment. One eternity later. Okay, so I got the wires through. Um, and then got everything hooked up. And now you can see it's in the corner. I used some uh, black uh, tape to tape it to the back to make sure the wires did not get uh, caught up. So now we need to go ahead and put the rest of the filter in place. So I'm gonna take the uh, carbon and put that in. That should just pop right in on top, yep. And now I'm gonna put the uh, uh, that one in. Now let's turn everything back on and see if it works. Yep, I hear the fans going. Yeah. 
And let's just make sure that's the fans. I think they are. Yep, those are the fans. Okay. So they are running. Um, and let me just uh, raise and lower the bed real quick to make sure that it will uh, work. And I got the high flow version of the Vento box. So they have some two really good fans with uh, a lot of flow on it. Let's see what happens. All right. Uh -huh. I think we're home. So let's go. Make sure we can go down without hitting it. Boy, they don't give a lot of clearance, but it it fits fine. All right, so we're all set. 